New tonight, imagine getting a grant to help pay for college to go teach underserved kids, only to see the thousands of dollars in grant money turn into a loan overnight. And that's reality facing thousands of teachers nationwide. Team 12's Michael Doudna spoke with a Valley teacher who is facing that financial struggle and joins us live from the Alert Center. Michael? Guys, Anna Crawl wanted to teach English at a tier one school. When she heard about the TEACH grant, which provides financial aid for doing just that, well, she never expected by accepting that grant, she would end up with more than $10,000 in debt. And we've done our part. We just need someone who's, who's willing to do theirs. Like many teachers, Anna Crawl took the government up on its offer. Student aid in exchange for teaching at an underserved school for four years. And so I just thought this is a no brainer. It's financial aid along with something that I'm already really passionate about. It did seem like a no brainer for the first couple of years, but Anna says things went wrong. After a grant manager told her the wrong information, she sent in the paperwork incorrectly. And that $8,000 grant became a loan that has her owing almost $13,000. It was a nice little six. 6.8% uh, interest rate. Her efforts to appeal went nowhere. I mean, it's been emotional. It's been it's been frustrating. Um, I've hit a dead end after dead end. And Anna is by no means alone. According to a survey by the Department of Education, 63% of all of these teach grants given out have been converted to loans, many of them because of a paperwork issue. And as of 2016, just 6% had completed the requirements. It really is a slap in the face, to be honest. This year, the federal government may provide some relief, allowing teachers who have fulfilled the teaching part of the grants requirements to apply for those loans to be turned back into grants. Anna has already called about trying to get her debt fixed, but with thousands of others doing the same thing, she was told to call back later. But unfortunately, um, I don't see the light. I don't see the light at the end of the tunnel yet. Another potential option here could be from Kirsten Cinema. She's sponsoring a bill which would allow those uh, grants have been turned to loans to be turned back into grants for teachers affected. Of course, we have to see exactly how that goes through the legislative process. We're live in the Alert Center. Michael Doudna, 12 News. All right, Michael. Thank